Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's, uh, well, I don't know, my clock's messed up, but it's about 12.30, I guess. So these yeah. things have been curing for about 12 hours. This is a right wing panel, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this thing open. I already got all the, the bolts out. And again, this is the first time a part has come out of this mold. Granted, the mold's a couple years old, so it's very well cured. But again, it's a fresh part. And you can see, that's how easy it was with pre-coat. Super, super easy. All right, so a little uh, stuff I'll show you. You kind of probably can't see it too well, but you see how there's kind of some holes in there? That was done on purpose. I'll explain why. Um, the servo flanges, how the hardwood ones were, they have little holes in them that were about an eighth of an inch, and I had these little DeWalt uh, drill point drill bits. And what I did is when I glued those, before I glued those plates and those dub boards in position, I, uh, I drilled the holes through the dub boards to mark the position here on the on the wing mold. Some of them are a little too deep, but now what you do is you've got little uh, divots in the wing in the mold surface. So now you can use those to mark the position on the bottom wing skin where your templates and your, your doublers for your recessed hatches and all go. So that's why I did it that way. And you don't ever have to worry about taking that stuff out and not getting them in the back the same place. You just put them back where those little, those little holes are. They're only about a sixteenth of an inch in diameter, maybe slightly more. They're not very big. So, and then on top of that, they're already drilled here on the bottom, so I just gotta make some little, two little G10 uh, templates. And then I'll use a little end, uh, end mill bit that'll be slightly modified for the correct depth. And I'll use it to cut this out of these particular wings and then all the rest of them, the recesses will be molded in position. So anyways, that's why I did that. So now here we are, the bottom wing service turned out really good. I'm quite pleased for the most part. So we'll see if we can't get it out of the top half of the mold. Again, this is where an air compressor would come in handy, but I still haven't gotten one. I've been kind of slacking, not really wanting to spend the money, but eventually I'm going to have to. Can't keep doing it like this. And that's only difficult because of the uh, the spoiler recesses not being the greatest fit ever. But she'll come out one way or the other. It's pretty close to coming out now. Slowly getting somewhere, guys. There we go. Now we're cooking. Woo! Man, this wing is light compared to that, to that first one. I mean, really light. Drink-wise, oh, I think this would be perfect. Oh, much, much lighter than that first three-pounder. So let me break out the scale, and we'll see exactly how much lighter. Two pounds, three ounces, almost four ounces. And that's before trimming all the fat off of it. So 
so let me zoom in so we can all be true believers. It's there somewhere. And there you go, two pounds, 3.7 ounces on this wing. And then the original wing that I thought was gonna be a good one. You'll see it was at, well, my scale wouldn't have turned off. Three pounds even. So <laughs> between that wing and this wing, I lost was it 13 ounces. <laughs> That's pretty dang good. I uh, told you guys I was gonna make this one significantly lighter. And it is significantly lighter. Much, much happier. Definitely can't complain about a one pound loss of weight, can you? So, let's zoom this thing back out. Put the wing there. Put the flap on here. And then a full set of spoiler panels. And we are at two pounds, 13 ounces. So basically a complete wing other than a slat is still three ounces lighter than that prototype wing. That is exactly what I was looking for. So I'm very, very happy with this. The quality of the layup on this wing is a lot better than that, that other one as well. So it'd be, this is awesome. Starting to kind of build up some uh, the fire a little bit more. You see how all this right here is all floppy? This all gets trimmed out. Every bit of this. That's going to be completely gone so when the spoilers open up you see all of that structure there on the inside. So I can need to double up a little bit on the glue joint on the inside but otherwise not too bad. I went a little bit too light on the glue in some spots but It'd be all right. We can add some more and it'll be perfect. So, one wing, one pound lighter. <laughs> I'm happy. So, anyways, I got some friends coming over, so I'm gonna actually wait to pull that other wing out for them so they can join in on the fun. And uh, yeah, the next video I'll do, I'm gonna clean up all this flashing on this thing. And then the next video, I'll be waxing and pva -ing this, and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do my uh, my slat plugs. And I'm actually going to be using this wing for the plugs. So it's going to be a little bit different. I don't think anybody's shown it this way except for maybe one other person. So it's, it's a pretty nifty little idea. When I saw him do it, I was like, oh, that's perfect for me. So anyways, until the next video, which will probably be in a... Oh, a couple of days, maybe earlier, I don't know, depends on how motivated I am <laughs> when the other wing comes out if it stays around. But until then, y'all have a good one, and we'll see you back here in the shop. See ya!